Did you know that eating walnuts with this could lead to serious illnesses affecting the mind and body? Even the brain healthy superfood, walnuts, have their best and worst food pairings. Even nutritious walnuts need to be consumed correctly to benefit your health. Eating them with harmful foods can actually damage your health. That's why I've prepared this. To prevent serious neurological and bodily diseases, I will tell you about three foods. That are the worst pairings with walnuts and three foods that are the best pairings. Hello, everyone. It's your Dr. Cuckoo here. Are there any of you who haven't subscribed yet? Please press subscribe and like right now. Share this with your loved ones, and please introduce more people to Dr. Cuckoo. We will continue to deliver the best health information packed with care. Like a gift, for our beloved followers. Today's star is the walnut, a superfood for the brain. Shaped like a brain, it's packed with the energy and nutrients necessary for brain health and preventing neurological diseases. Some enjoy it as a sweet walnut pastry, and others might take it separately for their health. In fact, walnuts are not only for the brain, they are filled with amazing benefits beyond that. They are particularly effective against insomnia, and there is a story about Empress Dowager Sixi of the Qing Dynasty, who always ate walnut porridge at night for sleep health and mental stability before going to bed. However, you should not just eat walnuts as they are. Walnuts are high in fatty acids and calories. So how you eat them and what methods you use are crucial. If you want to eat walnuts for health, you must remember the foods and miraculous recipes we recommend today. But, did you know? Even these healthy walnuts can be harmful if eaten with certain foods. Now, I will tell you about three foods that are the worst pairings with walnuts. And three foods that are the best pairings to maximize the health benefits of walnuts. Firstly, the worst pairing with walnuts is actually apples. Many people eat nuts and apples together for breakfast. Thinking it's nutritionally excellent, but in reality, it's not a good combination. We often choose foods that are beneficial for youth and anti-aging, right? But many miss a key component vitamin E. Vitamin E helps cells save up to 43% of the oxygen they could use. Preventing the creation of free radicals, which are the main culprits of aging in cells. For maintaining youth, nothing is more essential than ensuring you get enough vitamin E. It not only preserves the youthfulness of cells, but also maintains the elasticity of blood vessels and protects red blood cells. Additionally, it helps platelets, which rush to prevent bleeding and infection when there's a wound. Surprisingly, our star today, walnuts, rank first among nuts in vitamin E content, containing 15 times more than other nuts. On the other hand, apples, known as the king of vitamins, are packed with vitamin B and C, which are excellent for antioxidants and energy replenishment. But, focus here. Have you ever felt bloated after eating nuts and apples together? Which are supposed to be great for vitamin replenishment? It's a common issue, and the reason is that they digest at different rates. When slow digesting nuts and fast digesting apples mix, they create gas during digestion, leading to bloating and indigestion. So, it's better to enjoy walnuts and apples separately rather than together. The best food to pair with walnuts is none other than tomatoes. I previously introduced the amazing antioxidant effects of walnuts. But what's even more amazing is that walnuts are excellent at preventing inflammation and tumors, particularly the spread of health-harming cells. Here's a question. Why do you need to always manage your vascular health and cholesterol levels for good health? It's because bad fats, like cholesterol in your blood vessels, can block blood circulation. Preventing nutrients and oxygen from being efficiently delivered to your organs. This significantly increases the risk of arteriosclerosis, cerebral hemorrhage, and cardiovascular diseases. Surprisingly, high cholesterol levels can even influence the development of health-harming cells. 
Because organs can't function properly and fail to prevent mutations and the development of harmful cells. Moreover, according to recent research by Duke University in the USA, cholesterol has been identified as a cause for the metastasis and recurrence of illness. Despite intensive medical treatments, harmful cells feed on cholesterol and stubbornly survive. Therefore, it would be beneficial to consume foods that can reduce or even eliminate cholesterol. Think about it simply. When you get grease stains on your clothes, how do you wash them? You need grease to remove grease, right? Exactly. Only healthy fats can clean the grease stains of cholesterol in your blood vessels. That's where our star today, walnuts, comes in. Walnuts are full of essential unsaturated fatty acids including omega-3. And these healthy fats effectively remove the accumulated grease in our body. Now, there's a food that performs the same cleansing of blood vessels and prevention of health-harming cell metastasis as walnuts, and that food is tomatoes. The unsaturated fatty acids in walnuts and the red pigment, lycopene, in tomatoes perform the same function. Wait, this lycopene is a fat-soluble component, so it must be consumed with healthy fats. Since walnuts are rich in healthy fats, they create a synergistic combination that maximizes benefits. Therefore, from now on, it's a great idea to pair walnuts with a tomato salad. Or even just a tomato and a handful of walnuts in the morning for the best anti-illness diet. The second worst food to pair with walnuts is, surprisingly, anchovies. You might be shocked, as many enjoy adding walnuts, almonds and other nuts to sautéed anchovies. While it tastes good, the combination isn't actually beneficial. Anchovies are so rich in calcium that they are often referred to as the king of calcium, containing more than 10 times the calcium of other fish and 5 times that of milk. Calcium is crucial for bone health and is a key component of bone structure, essential for enhancing bone density. However, there's a problem. As we age, our ability to absorb calcium significantly decreases. No matter how much calcium you consume, if it's not absorbed, it's useless. Should you then turn to calcium supplements? Not necessarily. High doses of calcium supplements can lead to poor circulation and increase the risks of kidney stones and cardiovascular diseases due to non-absorption. Given these potential side effects, it's vital to consume calcium through a balanced diet with natural foods. Making anchovies a top choice due to their edible bones. However, when you eat anchovies with walnuts, which are rich in unsaturated fatty acids, you won't be able to absorb any of the calcium from the anchovies. This is because walnuts contain phytic acid, which interferes with calcium absorption. Phytic acid binds with the abundant calcium in anchovies, forming an insoluble complex in the intestines. As a result, the calcium is not absorbed and is instead excreted from the body. So, while you might consume anchovies for their calcium, pairing them with walnuts nullifies the benefit. Therefore, it's better to consume anchovies and walnuts separately, to fully benefit from each of their nutritional properties. The second best combination with walnut is, red bean. When you think of walnuts, the first thing that probably comes to mind is the warm and sweet walnut pastry. As tasty as it is, it's also great for your health. You might already know that walnuts are excellent for brain health, but do you know why they are particularly good at preventing serious neurological conditions? Walnuts contain unsaturated fatty acids, including not only omega-3 but also alpha-linolenic acid. This linolenic acid makes up 60% of the brain's neural cells. Thus, eating walnuts is like nourishing your brain's building blocks, preventing the destruction of nerve cells and boosting their activity, keeping the brain youthful and healthy. In fact, walnuts enhance the hippocampus, the central nerve responsible for memory making them extremely effective at improving logic and reasoning skills. But focus here. 
No matter how much you strengthen brain cells, if the blood vessels leading to the brain are clogged with waste, it's all for nothing. And if there is too much heat in the head and scalp, that's a serious concern. At this point, red beans come into play, known for their cooling properties and excellent at eliminating waste. Have you ever noticed the foam that forms when boiling red beans? That's due to saponin, an antioxidant component also found in ginseng and red ginseng, abundant in red beans. So, when you consume red beans and walnuts together, they help release the heat and toxins accumulated around the head and chest. Allowing the incredible brain health benefits of walnuts to be effectively delivered to the brain cells. Moreover, red beans are among the richest grains in vitamin B1. Also known as the brain vitamin, which creates the best synergy with walnuts. One more thing. Previously, I mentioned that Empress Dowager 6E used to eat walnut soup in the evening to combat insomnia. Here's a key point. Walnuts have an amazing calming effect, strong enough to be used as a treatment for insomnia. Surprisingly, red beans are also rich in vitamins B1 and B2. Together, walnuts and red beans can eliminate brain fatigue substances, even helping to treat depression. So, from now on, try blending walnuts and red beans into a porridge or soup. For the ultimate brain nourishing food that also aids in insomnia and mental stability. Lastly, the worst food to pair with walnuts is actually milk. While walnuts are rich in vitamins B and E, and packed with minerals and nutrients, they lack one crucial element, protein. You might think it's a good idea to combine them with milk. But it's actually better to eat walnuts with red beans or soybeans, as I mentioned earlier. Why should you avoid consuming milk with walnuts? As briefly introduced before, walnuts contain an anti-nutrient called phytic acid. This plant toxin, which was developed as a defense mechanism to prevent predation, hinders the absorption of nutrients from other foods and can upset the stomach when eaten together. Specifically, when phytic acid in walnuts meets the casein protein in milk, it forms clumps and causes digestive issues. Additionally, it blocks the absorption of calcium, effectively preventing the body from absorbing the calcium in milk. Therefore, no matter how healthy it might seem to consume milk and walnuts together, it ultimately becomes futile. So, should you always worry when eating walnuts? Not at all. There are two great solutions. First, you can boil the walnuts before eating them. Boiling walnuts not only makes them softer and easier to digest, but also reduces the activity of phytic acid, allowing you to fully absorb the calcium in milk. Furthermore, the mineral, manganese, in walnuts is key in today's discussion. No matter how much calcium you consume, if your bones and cartilage tissues aren't properly formed, it's pointless. Correct. The manganese abundant in walnuts plays this role. Boiled walnuts provide manganese that helps build strong bones, effectively reducing concerns about osteoporosis and fractures. When consumed with milk, this combination becomes an excellent diet for bone health due to the complete absorption of calcium. Second, if boiling walnuts seems inconvenient, you can simply eat five or six walnuts with milk. Alternatively, consuming walnuts with soy milk or other dairy alternatives is also beneficial. The third and the last best food with walnut is the banana. The combination of walnuts and bananas might seem a bit unusual, but it's currently a wildly popular energy boosting diet. You can enjoy bananas and walnuts together in the morning or blend them into a smoothie. Knowing the benefits they offer to your body can enhance their effectiveness. Firstly, bananas are often considered a top food for diets. Because they are rich in dietary fiber, which helps maintain a feeling of fullness for a long time. Moreover, bananas are packed with nutrients, especially potassium and magnesium which are quickly absorbed by the muscles upon consumption, promptly restoring energy. Interestingly, the potassium in bananas helps expel sodium from the body, 
which, when paired with walnuts known for their vascular cleansing properties, creates a remarkable synergy. Wait, there's another amazing benefit of the magnesium in bananas. It can alleviate depression and enhance feelings of happiness. This effect pairs exceptionally well with walnuts. Walnuts are rich in vitamin B, which is excellent for fatigue recovery. And the prebiotic fiber in walnuts acts as a great stimulant for gut microbiota. This helps with intestinal peristalsis, and the unsaturated fatty acids in walnuts stimulate the nerve fibers connected between the gut and the brain, which is crucial for preventing depression and maintaining mental health. Therefore, for both physical and mental health benefits, you definitely should try combining bananas and walnuts. So far, we've looked at the three worst and the three best food pairings with walnuts. Shall we summarize one last time? Instead of apples, it's better to eat walnuts with tomatoes. Instead of anchovies, pair walnuts with red beans. Instead of milk, choose bananas to accompany your walnuts and fully recharge your energy. Walnuts, a superfood for the brain. I hope you keep up your health by choosing the right food combinations. Thank you for spending so much time with us. If you found today's video helpful, please subscribe and like. Also, please share it with your dear family and friends. I will always pray for your health and happiness. This has been your Dr. Cuckoo. Thank you.